are in my pocket. Hello, Mama. Jemima had brought her school hamster home for the weekend because it was her turn to look after him. So what's your name then, eh? He's called Julian, Grandpa. Julian? That's a funny name for a hamster. Hey, Bear Wolf. You're going to have the best time ever. Nobody else can handle you as well as I can. Little did we know that today we were all going to learn how to handle a hamster. I'm going to ask Dad if I can have a hamster of my own, Grandpa. Oh, you are, are you? Now, Dad was in the garden, sawing some wood. He was going to mend a hole in the floor in the downstairs toilet. Dad's always mending things, especially bikes, because he runs the bike shop in town. He fixes tyres and wheels and chains. He's really good at fixing bikes. But not quite so good at fixing other things. Don't go in the downstairs toilet, Grandpa. I'm fixing a hole in the floor. Dad, Dad, Dad! Please, can I have a hamster like Julian? Please! Hmm. Well, if you show me you can look after Julian, I might just think about it. Yes! Come on, let's make you comfy. Aw, I wish Mum could see you, Julian. Mum was away on a cooking course. Cooking was her latest hobby. Mum's always taking up new hobbies. One week it's karate, then it's salsa dancing, then cake decorating, the ukulele, knitting, opera singing, She's left us this, a scrummy sausage stew, to heat up for our tea. Sausage stew? Oh, oh our favourite, eh, Wolfie? Mm, I can smell a sausage stew a mile away. Do you fancy a bit of sausage, Julian? No, Grandpa. Hans is eat seeds. And the drink water. I'll fill this up. No, I'll do it, Jason. Let me go. Come on, then. There we are. Uh-oh. The door's open. He's out. He's out. Jemima! Jason! What's the matter, Grandpa? Jemima soon found out what the matter was. Julian had gone. Julian's gone! Jason, it's your fault. You shouldn't have taken the bottle. I was only trying to help. He could be anywhere. Maybe he's in the kitchen. He's so small, he can get into really tiny places. A bit like me, eh? I can get into really tiny places when I'm small. Uh-oh. Grandpa was thinking of using his shrinking cap. I'll find Julian. Not the shrinking cap, Grandpa! Catch me if you can! Grandpa, come back! You know when Grandpa shrinks, he can get up to all kinds of magical things. Get down, Grandpa! He can fly off in my plane. Grandpa, stop! Get it to my car and make it go. You know, once Grandpa's got an idea in his head, there's no stopping him. He drove my car into the hallway just as Jemima came back in. He's not in the kitchen. We mustn't tell Dad or I'll never get my own hamster. Bit too long, this one. What's the matter? Nothing. Ah, Grandpa gone for a little lie down, has he? Oh well, I'll try this again. Whenever Grandpa shrinks, Everyone thinks he's gone for a lie down. Except me, of course. Why does Grandpa have to go and lie down just when we need him? But Jemima grabbed her chance. Off she went to look for Julian in the toilet while Dad was gone. Meanwhile, Grandpa was waiting for his chance in my car in the hall. Then suddenly we heard... Ah! Oh, no! No! Julian's gone through the hall in the toilet. He'll be under the floorboards or we'll never find him now. Oh, yes, we will. Grandpa was off. 
He zoomed through the kitchen and Jemima was too busy crying to notice him. I rushed after him into the toilet, but by the time I got there, Grandpa had gone! So, not only was Julian under the floorboards, but so was Grandpa! Julian! Julian! Come out! I know you're here somewhere! There you are. Come on. Come on, little chap. Don't be frightened. I'm only trying to help you. It's all right, Julian. Don't be frightened. Are you there, Julian? Come back, Julian. Where are you? This time, Grandpa had gone too far. I was worried that he'd come out of the hole instead of Julian. But Grandpa wasn't about to come out because... I'm completely lost. Bother. I was trying to work out what to do when suddenly I heard... <gasps> Are you there, Grandpa? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Are you all right? Yes, but I'm a little bit lost. What shall I do? Put the hamster food next to the hole. Julian will smell it and come on out. But how can I get you out, Grandpa? Oh, you'll think of something. What are you doing, Jason? Nothing. Uh, what are you doing, Jemima? Nothing. Tell Dad where Julian is. He's about to cover up the hole. I know. And if he does that, I'll never see Julian again. Of course, I was worried that I'd never see Grandpa again. The thing about Grandpa is that he's always fun. We play lots of games. Oh, you won again! <laughs> I certainly did. Captain we read Captain Dumble twit stories. And this record sprang out of the side of the spaceship. We share our ice cream. <laughs> we suck up our spaghetti. <laughs> and Grandpa is always like this. <laughs> and just then, Dad came back out of the toilet with the plank. Wrong size. Too short this time. Try again. I've got a plan. Listen. Jemima put the hamster food in front of the hole so that Julian would smell it. At last, you've had a good idea, Jason. Thanks! I couldn't tell her that it was actually Grandpa's good idea. We waited really quietly, both hoping that Julian would smell the food and come out. You're so cute. I'm so glad I found you. The good news was that Julian was safe and sound. The bad news was that Grandpa was still under the floorboards. Jemima, can you help me measure this, please? Luckily, Dad called Jemima. I just had a few minutes to rescue Grandpa. I needed the plan, and I needed it fast. If Julian could find his way back by smelling his favourite food, then maybe it could work for Grandpa too. So I put the cold sausage stew down by the hole in the toilet. Oh, sausage stew. I could smell sausage stew a mile away. Oh. Grandpa, you came back! Of course I came back. I wasn't going to miss out on the sausage stew. Quick, get to your chair. Grandpa soon whipped off his shrinking cap and came back to his normal size. He was back in his chair just as Dad and Jemima came in with a new plank. Third time lucky. 
Well, Julian, I said I'd find you, and I did. Couldn't have done it without Jason, though. Teamwork, eh? Teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa really enjoyed his sausage stew. Wolfie, come on. And so did Beowulf. Good boy. Guess what? Dad said I could have a hamster of my own if I want one. But I think they're too much work. So do I. Huh? What do you mean, Grandpa? You didn't do anything. Oh, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa is that he's always fun. We play lots of games. Oh, you won again! <laughs> I certainly did. We read Captain Dumble twit stories. The tennis racket sprung out of the side of the spaceship. <laughs> we share our ice cream. <laughs> we suck up our spaghetti. And Grandpa is always like this. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget your beach ball, Jason. We were getting ready to go to the beach. Mr. Whoops had promised Jemima and me, and a bunch of our friends, a fun day out. Everyone loves Mr. Whoops. He owns the toy shop in Sunny Sands, which is the best toy shop in the world. You can buy anything and everything here. Mr. Whoops is great fun. And he loves his toy shop as much as we do. There's going to be games and a picnic, Grandpa. Oh. And there's even going to be a puppet show. Oh, sounds wonderful. Doesn't it, Wolfie? You like and Grandpa was right. We were going to spend the day in... The wonderful world of Mr. Whoops. I think I'll come along too. Oh, Grandpa, I, I'm sorry, but there's no room in Campo. I'm taking Jason, Jemima and a whole load of their friends. Never mind all this. Hurry up, Jason, we're loading up. I really, really want to come. Not a shrinking cup, Grandpa! Catch me if you can! You know when Grandpa shrinks, he can get up to all kinds of magical things. Grandpa, come back! Get it to my car and make it go. Grandpa, watch out! Grandpa, come back here! Be careful! Not the plane, Grandpa! You can fly off in my plane. I'm the only one who knows about Grandpa's shrinking cap, so I have to make sure nobody sees him when he's small. Hurry up, Jason! Our friends are here! There was nothing I could do. I had to go. So we all got into Campo and off we went. And soon everyone started singing. The wonderful world of Mr. Whoops! We're off to the beach! Hooray! And Mum said... I'm sorry there wasn't any room for Grandpa. And Jemima said... So am I. Poor Grandpa. But I had a feeling that Grandpa might find his own way to the beach. And I was right. I had to come, Jason. If Mr. Whoops is having a fun day, he's going to need my help. You know what Mr. Whoops is like? <gasps> Mr. Whoops is called Mr. Whoops because he's always having little accidents. He 
drops things. He falls over things. Oops. He falls off things. Whoops. He even trips over his own feet. Whoops. He's bound to have a little accident. I won't be any trouble. Promise. When Grandpa's got an idea in his head, there's no stopping him. Mr. Whoop says, do this! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Whoop says, do this! Mum was in the beach hut getting the picnic ready. <laughs> Mr. Whoop says, do this! <laughs> Mr. Whoop says, do this! <laughs> Mr. Whoop says... Of course, I was wondering where Grandpa was. <laughs> and then I saw him peeping out of the beach bag. But just then, Mr. Whoops got carried away. He accidentally kicked the beach bag and up went Grandpa. While everyone else ran to help poor Mr. Whoops, I ran to rescue Grandpa. I will ride Grandpa. Oh, he gave me quite a kick. You promised you'd be no trouble. I wasn't trouble. No. Mum put a bandage on Mr. Whoops' arm, but nothing stops Mr. Whoops from enjoying himself. We were playing Whoops in the middle, and I was wondering where Grandpa was hiding now. This time Grandpa had gone too far, but Mr. Whoops was about to go too far too. Everyone ran to help Mr. Whoops. And I ran to find Grandpa again. Grandpa, where are you? No, in here, wiggling. Grandpa wasn't hurt, which is more than could be said for Mr. Whoops. Mum had to put a bandage on Mr. Whoops's head, but nothing would stop him from having fun. It was picnic time. Picnic time! Yay! And while you're having your picnic, I'll do the puppet show. I looked around for Grandpa again. He was standing on Mr. Whoops' puppet chest. What would he get up to next? A picnic isn't a picnic without a jelly. <laughs> Mr. Whoops ran after the jelly before I could stop him, and then... Oh, my goodness! Oh, my two left feet! Oh, my wobbly bottom! What's the matter? There's a... There's a... There's a what? There's a little man in the jelly. Oh, Mr Whoops, I think you need a little sit down. You've had a bang on the head. You can do the puppet show another day. Maybe you're right. Sorry, everyone. It was a bit of a shock. I don't normally see little men in jellies. I got Grandpa out of the jelly and he was fine, but a bit sticky. We'll have to do the puppet show, Jason. But, Grandpa... You don't want to disappoint your friends, do you? Just tell them you'll do the puppet show. I'll help. I'm so excited. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the wonderful world of Mr. Whoops' puppet show. Hooray! Tell them who you are. Go on, make it up. I'm the Wizzle Fuzz, and this is my friend, the Bongle Boing. Boing, boing, boing. <laughs> While I was being the Wizzle Fuzz and the Bongle Boing, Grandpa had an idea of his own. Stop boinging, Bongle Boing. I can't. I'm the Bongle Boing, and that's what I do. I boing. <laughs> boing, boing, boing. It was going well, and it was about to get even better. <laughs> wiggle, 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 whoop! <laughs> Grandpa had got right inside a puppet and was wiggling for all he was worth. Everyone wondered how I could work three puppets with only two hands. Jason's always doing amazing things like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! A bongo boy and a wiggle whoop, and I'm not good at anything! Boo hoo hoo! But you're a wuzzle fuzz. Can't you wuzzle? I'm sure you can work out how to wuzzle. Uh, um... I had 
to think of something fast. Wish, 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 wish. <laughs> Everyone started to wuzzle. Even Mr. Whoops was wuzzling. He'd forgotten about the little man and the jelly, and he was having a great time. And so was the little man and the jelly. After the show, I put Grandpa in my pocket and brought him home. Mr. Whoops' day out had been great. I had been a Wuzzlefuzz and a Bongo Boy, and Grandpa had been a Wiggle Whoop. And everyone had had fun, thanks to Grandpa. I ran inside before anyone else. on the floor. Grandpa quickly whipped off his cap and came back to his normal size. Well done, Wuzzlefuzz. Well done, Bigger Whip. We saved the day, eh? Teamwork. Teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Whoops fell over and so Jason did this amazing puppet show with a bongo boing <laughs> and a wiggle whoop that went wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. wiggle, wiggle. wiggle. Boop. Just like that, Grandpa. Anyone would think you'd been there. You weren't the little man in the jelly, were you? <laughs> <laughs> wiggle, 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 whoop! <laughs> Grandpa in my pocket! This is me, Jason Mason. This is my house where I live with my mum, dad, grandpa and sister Jemima. It was Jemima's birthday. Grandpa, that's enough! Grandpa's going to... <laughs> we were having a party. <laughs> mum and dad had got her some new pink clothes. I'd got her a new pink hairbrush and wash bag. And Grandpa had got her a fantastic pink watch. Pink was Jemima's favourite colour, by the way. Everyone was really excited about the party, especially Grandpa. He loves party food. And he loves party games. <laughs> but Grandpa was in for a surprise because at Jemima's party, we were also going to have... Mr. Marveloso's magic show! Ta-da! Ah, perfect in pink. But listen here, Jemima, why are you bothering with this Mr. Marveloso fellow? I could do a magic show for you. You can't do magic, Grandpa. Oh, you'd be surprised. You see this coin? I'm a little, a little, a little, boom. <laughs> It's gone down the back of my dress. Yes, well, that's because it's called the coin down the back of the dress trick. Yeah, right. Just leave the magic to Mr. Marveloso, eh, Grandpa? And we didn't have to wait long before Mr. Marveloso appeared. Mr. Oso Marveloso, at your service. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Where do I set up? Out here. I'll give you a hand, Mr. Marveloso. Grandpa was not impressed. Who does he think he is? He's Mr. Not So Oh So Marveloso, if you ask me. He's no fun, Jason. I can smell it. I'm not going to stand by and watch him spoil Jemima's party. Not the shrinking cap, Grandpa! Catch me if you can! You know when Grandpa shrinks, he can get to put all kinds of magical things. He can ride on Gordon, my toy seagull. <laughs> and make it go. No! Grandpa, come back! Get down, Grandpa! He can fly off in my plane. The doorbell! Hide, Grandpa! Jemima's friends are at the door. 
Ah, oh, Grandpa gone for a little lie down, has he? Oh dear, he'll miss the party. Come on. Everyone was all set to have a really fun time, but Mr. Marveloso had other ideas. While Mum and Dad were in the kitchen getting the food ready, he made us sit completely still and silent. Grandpa had been right. He was no fun at all. I wondered where Grandpa had got to, but I didn't have to wonder for long. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, uh, for my first thing, I shall now require the assistance. Who made that noise? Of course, I had to pretend it was me. Stop messing about, boy, or there'll be no magic show. Oh, now, where was I? Oh, I hate being interrupted like that. Now, I was really me... worried that Grandpa had hurt himself, oh, yes, I know. but he hadn't. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, for my first trick, I need a... Cup of tea, Mr Marveloso. Not now. I'm right in the middle of magic. Oh, OK, then. As I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, for my first trick, I need a watch. You. Of the birthday girl. Jemima really didn't want to hand over her watch. And where was Grandpa? Surely he'd think of something. Come on, nice and quickly, haven't got all day. Chop, 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 chop. Mr Marveloso put Jemima's new pink watch in a velvet bag. Then he took out a hammer and... Bang, 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 bang! <gasps> no! Sit down, little girl. But you've just broken my watch! Oh, Jemima! I had a feeling that the watch wasn't really broken, but that it was all part of the trick. I'll finish that trick later. The good news was that I'd found Grandpa. The bad news was he was climbing into the back of Mr Marveloso's magic table. Mr Marveloso was about to begin his next trick. I started to panic. Any moment he was going to find Grandpa. It's your lucky day. I think I'm ready for my next trick. Phew. Grandpa had escaped being seen. He must have found a clever hiding place. Or maybe it wasn't such a clever hiding place. Grandpa was there, all right. I was just about to sneak him into my pocket when... What are you doing, boy? Sit down. Now. I shall make something disappear. This squeaky chicken! Mr Marveloso had taken Beowulf's squeaky chicken. Beowulf wasn't going to be at all pleased about that. And neither was Grandpa. Mr Marveloso dropped the chicken on top of Grandpa, covered it up, then waved his magic wand. It is oh so Marveloso! The chicken had disappeared. And so had Grandpa. Nobody felt like clapping because nobody liked Mr Marveloso. Where was Grandpa? He'd been in some sticky situations before, but he'd never vanished into thin air. Not impressed. I see. Squeaky dog toy not good enough for you. Fine. Well, watch this. Something amazing is about to appear. I had a nasty feeling that something amazing was going to be Grandpa. I couldn't bear to look. It is oh so marveloso! It wasn't Grandpa. It was a rabbit. Have you any idea how hard that trick is? Give me some applause. Come on. Come on. Then something very strange happened. I'm not surprised nobody wants to clap you, Mr. Marveloso. You really are the most unpleasant magician I've ever had to work with. Who said that? The rabbit. Don't be ridiculous. Rabbits can't talk. Magic rabbits can. You're a very rude and unkind magician. What? No. It can't possibly. A talking rabbit. I'm getting out of here. Yay! You're a very rude and unkind magician. <laughs> it's not funny, Jason. Now Mr. Marveloso's gone and I'll never get my watch back. Mum! Please just wreck my watch, please. It was a disaster. 
Dad had taken care of the rabbit. Now I had to take care of Grandpa. Grandpa, we're in big trouble. Jemima's all upset. I think you better take your cap off now. No, not yet. We've got to make it better for Jemima. Here's what we'll do. To... Grandpa had found Jemima's watch. Grandpa told me to get everyone back in the garden. Mr Marveloso had dropped his cloak and wand so that I could be the magician. Grandpa promised he'd be with me every step of the way. And he was. He was hiding in the hat. But he wasn't alone. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, for my first trick, I'm going to magic something to life. Beowulf squeaky dog toy. <laughs> While I was bowing, Grandpa made his way across the garden to my plane. He was ready for our next trick. I want my watch back. OK, Jemima, your wish is my command. I'm going to make your watch drop from the sky. <gasps> but for the magic to work, you must close your eyes tight. I checked that everyone's eyes were closed. Then I signalled to Grandpa that it was time. Up went Grandpa on the plane, with Jemima's watch squashed in with him. The plane circled round the garden, and then... Jason, you're amazing! Later, while everyone was eating, I sneaked Grandpa back into the sitting room. And off came the cap. Oh, we did it, Jason. <laughs> Great magic, Grandpa. It wasn't magic, Jason. It was teamwork. Teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> Here you are, Grandpa. Such a shame you have to go and have a little lie down. You missed a brilliant magic show. Poor old Grandpa. Always manages to disappear just at the wrong time. You can say that again. <laughs> It was Saturday afternoon and Grandpa was playing with my seagull, Gordon. Oh, 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 sorry, Wolfie. I was getting ready to go to the first ever Sunny Sands Kids Art Club at Miss Smiley's Cafe. I love painting, sticking and making stuff. And I knew the art club was going to be really fun. But what I didn't know was there'd be... Magic in the air. I couldn't decide what outfit my dolly should wear, so I bought all of them. What about you, Jason? You're supposed to bring something to draw, remember? How about Gordon? Great idea, Grandpa. Hurry up, Jason. Mum, time to go. Do you want to go to the art club, Gordon? I know I do. I just knew what Grandpa was thinking. Sure enough. Not the shrinking tap, Grandpa! Catch me if you can! Grandpa, come back! You know when Grandpa shrinks, he can get to put all kinds of magical things. He can fly off in my plane. knows about Grandpa's magic shrinking cap. Whenever he disappears, everyone thinks he's gone for a little lie down. Oh, Grandpa gone for a little lie down, has he? I expect he's glad we're going out. You know how he likes his peace and quiet. Come along, Jemima. Come on, Jason, we're going to be late. I hate having Grandpa on his own when he's small. But I had to go. got into Campo and set off for the cafe and Mum said I wonder what the art teacher's going to be like and Jemima said I hope she's nice and friendly and I said oh no I forgot Gordon and Jemima said Jason 
But I wasn't so worried about Gordon. I was much more worried about Grandpa. Whee! I knew he'd have a plan. I just didn't know what it was. The new art teacher was already there. And so are my friends, Zack and Lily. See, children, nice and pointy. That's how we like them. Everybody must have a pointy pencil. Pointy pencils are most important. I didn't know the teacher's real name, but I knew if Grandpa was here, he'd call her Mrs Pointy Pencil. Her face, of course. You. Oh, that's a lovely one. Pointy Pencil for you, Pointy Pencil for you, Pointy Pencil for you, and Pointy Pencil for you. Now, I hope you've all remembered to bring something to draw today. Hmm? I was about to tell Mrs Pointy Pencil I'd forgotten to bring Gordon, when... I saw him sitting by the open door. This could mean only one thing. If Gordon was here, so was Grandpa. Little boy, sit down. Little girl, what are you doing? Stop dressing that dolly and put those clothes away. I will not have this messing about. Before you start drawing something, you have to look at it very, very carefully, like this. And after you have looked at it for a very, very long time, you take your pointy pencil and you hold it very carefully, like this. And then you start drawing, but you do it very, very slowly, one inch at a time. Nobody wanted to know about pointy pencils. Everyone just wanted to do some art. And I just wanted to know where Grandpa was. What happens when you make a naughty mistake, huh? You use an eraser. He had to be hiding somewhere. And now I knew where. I said you couldn't come. Well, it's a good job I did. I've never heard such a load of boring old nonsense. This art club needs livening up. No, please don't. Little boy over there, stop talking to yourself. Now, girls and boys, let me see your toys. I am going to inspect them to make sure they're suitable for drawing. So I got out Gordon, and Zack got out his racing car, and Lily got out nothing. I couldn't decide what to bring. She's going to be so cross with me. Make sure your pencil is really pointy when you draw these wheels. <laughs> oh, and that drum. Yes, well, that's Grandpa was jiggling about. I guess he wanted to talk to me. I'll have to inspect the pencil before you do it all. Lily needs help. I've got to find her a toy to draw. No, Grandpa. It was too late. Once Grandpa's got an idea in his head, there's no stopping him. Mrs. Pointy Pencil was going from table to table. Any moment she was going to discover that Lily hadn't got a toy to draw. Mrs. Pointy Pencil got nearer and nearer, and Lily started to slide under the table. Suddenly she saw something. Little girl, sit up properly and show me your toy. Where is it? It, it, well, it... I'm waiting. It, it, it's this. <gasps> oh, a fairy dolly. Only it wasn't a fairy dolly. It was a fairy grandpa. Oh, she's so sweet. This time, grandpa had gone too far. Where did you find her? Under the table. I've an idea. Let's all draw the fairy dolly. <gasps> no, no, you can't. This was a disaster. I knew Grandpa wouldn't be able to stay still for much longer. I had to do something. Look, over there, a huge hairy purple thing. Where? 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 Stop it, children. Come on, sit down. I rushed to Jemima's doll's box and found Grandpa's clothes. I was about to give them back to Grandpa when Mrs. Pointy Pencil turned round. Hurry up. Hurry up. Now, sit, everybody. 
anybody. Purple hairy thing indeed. Any more trouble from you and you won't be coming back next week. Right. Now, everybody, get out your pointy pencils and let's all draw the little fairy dolly. But the little fairy dolly had gone. Someone must have taken it. Come on, own up. Who took the fairy? Hmm? Mrs. Don't Pointy Pencil was getting crosser and crosser. And she I looked like she was going to explode. Right. Everybody put your hands on your heads. I am going into the art cupboard and I am going to count to ten. And when I come out, I want to see the fairy! <laughs> The good news was that Mrs. Pointy Pencil had gone to hide in the art cupboard. The bad news was she wasn't the only one. <gasps> Greetings, teacher. Don't despair. Fairy magic's in the air. <sighs> You're real. A real fairy. Let me give you some advice. Don't be nasty, just be nice. Brilliant artwork can be done if you make it lots of fun. Fun? Pointy pencils are okay, but these children need to play. Ask for their ideas and see how creative they can be. Oh. I know just what we should do. Let's have fun with paint and glue. Mrs. Pointy Pencil was a completely different person. It was as if she'd been put under a magic spell. Forget about Pointy Pencils. I want to hear your ideas, children. Well, we can we can it. It. Everyone had forgotten about the missing fairy. Everyone, that is, except me. Although I had a pretty good idea where I could find her. I mean, him. Grandpa, please put your clothes back on before there's any more trouble. I'm going to take you home. Yes, OK, Jason. I must admit, this tutu is a bit tight. Hurry up. I want to see what the others have been doing. The others had made a collage of Fairyland. And Mrs Pointy Pencil had made a collage on herself. This is wonderful, children. Yes, yes it is. We're in Fairyland. Uh, give yourselves a big cheer. Yeah! Grandpa was safely back in my pocket. And when we got home, I ran ahead of everyone and put him down on the floor. He whipped his shrinking cap off and went back to his normal size. No more boring pointy pencils, eh, Jason? She'll be a fun art teacher from now on. We did it, eh? Teamwork. Teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> the art club was fantastic, Grandpa. They did a huge collage of Fairyland. I wish you could have seen it. What's that on your shoulder, Grandpa? You're all sparkly. <laughs> Anyone would think you'd been to Fairyland too. <laughs> <laughs>